Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are continuing our, well, we're doing the Wood versus Lara DAZN recap uh, from the fight that took place last Saturday, February 18th from the United Kingdom. Um, we're just going to look at that fight itself. The rest of the card was kind of just so-so. But, um, you know, you had Lee Wood, the reigning WBA champion at featherweight, 126 pounds, defending against the hard-hitting Mauricio Lara, who is getting his first crack at a world title. It was an optional defense for Wood, um, and it was a fight that was supposed to happen last September, but Wood had to pull out with an injury. But, um, you know, they they went at it in this one, and, and you know, Wood was outboxing and outworking uh, Mauricio Lara. He was. He was you know, actually fending off the pressure and all that stuff, but he was getting caught with punches here and there. Um, but after six rounds, I mean, it, uh, Wood had a comfortable lead, um, and it didn't appear that, you know, Mauricio Lara was, um, was getting to him. You know, it didn't look like it was a, uh, a stamina issue or anything like that heading into the second half of the fight. So, it looked like Mauricio Lara in the second half was really going to have to push him hard. And, you know, in the seventh round, he didn't even leave any time, you know, any uh, any time to do that. He just went and landed a wicked left hook that put Lee Wood flat on his back. Wood got up. The ref was about to let him continue, but there was only seconds left in the round. There was about six seconds left in the seventh. So maybe the bell could have saved him. Um, and he would have made it into the eighth round with the lead still, but um, I don't know. He got caught pretty damn good, and his trainer, Ben Davison, threw in the towel before it could get um, out of hand, you know, or before he could be hurt anymore. And um, I, I thought it was a, a good stoppage, you know, especially the kind of puncher that Mauricio Lara is. You don't want to see your fighter get hurt, but I also understand Lee Wood's side of it to where he wants to go, he wants to be legitimately uh, put away without any doubt, and um, if, he, if he's going to go down, but, you know, I, again, I felt like it was a good stoppage by Ben Davidson, um, but, you know, a good fight and performance by both fighters, you know, it really was. Um, uh, Lee Wood, you know, uh, threw it all out there, and Mauricio Lara did as well, and congrats to Mauricio Lara on becoming the world champion. Um, Lee Woods fights definitely though you really you know a lot of emotion in Lee Woods fights um, and, and what I mean by that is is just a drama a lot of drama in his fights because y you have you know when he was upset can shoe he's um, winning majority of the fight and he goes for the knockout and stops him in 12 you know and then uh, against Michael Conlon he's He's uh, losing that fight on points, but he's getting closer and closer. And then the championship rounds, he hurts him and then puts him away with a wicked punch in the 12th uh, to secure the win. And then Mauricio Lara is winning the fight, uh, you know, convincingly, and then gets caught hard by a left hook and knocked out. And it's just amazing, uh, Lee Woods' fights. They're always interesting, always provide uh, some good, good uh, memories and stuff. So, uh, again, tough break. I'll discuss both guys. Uh, you know what's next what they plan on doing in their next fight uh, I know Lee Wood does have a rematch clause in the contract so we'll see how that goes um, I'll do that next week once we've had more time and to see if that's what um, you know Lee Wood wants to do next so we'll see what happens but that's it that's what I got that's the Wood versus Lara DAZN recap from Saturday February 18th hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button leave a comment subscribe to the channel I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.